Okay, we're going to talk about stoichiometry today and what stoichiometry is, is it's a mathematical relationship between two different substances. For example, if we are going from H2 to O2 to produce water, we can look at the relationship between hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. But first we have to have our balanced equation. So I'm going to go through the steps of how to get to our balanced equation and then solve mathematically from hydrogen to oxygen or hydrogen to water. So let's go back to what we already know. So we know molar conversions. And you have to remember all of your conversions. First one, one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Particles can be atoms, ions, molecules, formula units. This is also what we call Avogadro's number. We know that one mole is equal to the molar mass, which is found on periodic table, grams per mole. The last one is one mole equals 22.4 liters. This is only for gases, and we're talking about at STP. Remember, STP is standard temperature pressure. The temperature is 273 Kelvin. The pressure can be 1 atm, 101.3 kPa, or 760 millimeters mercury or torr. And that would be 760 torr as well. So we already know that information. We also know how to write balanced equations, which is going to come into play with this. So let's look at what we've done in the past. Okay? We would have a question that would say, let me get a different one. How many grams or how many moles of water are in, let's say, 115 or 125 grams of water. So these are the problems that we've already done. We can look and see that we're talking about water, water. This is what we're starting with, 125 grams. What we're trying to find is moles. So we've always looked at, well, how are we going to get from our given to what we're trying to find? And in this case, we're looking at grams to moles, and we're going to use our molar mass. So we would always write our given down. This grams is going to come down here so that it cancels out. Look on the periodic table. Find our molar mass for water, which is 18. Again, that's 2 times the 1 for hydrogen. And we're going to add the 16.0 grams for oxygen. That gives us our 18. 18 grams is 1 mole. You put that into the calculator. Multiply the top, divide by the bottom. You're going to get 6.94 moles of water. And that's what we already know how to do. Again, we're only talking about one substance. Now we're going to move into, what happens if we have two substances? Okay, so that's basically where this stoichiometry comes into play. So, let's look at our next problem. Okay? How many moles of water 
are produced from, let's go with 2.0 moles of oxygen with excess hydrogen. Okay? So in this, you should see that there's more than one substance that's mentioned. We're starting with moles of oxygen, but we're going to something different. We've got water. So now we have to figure out how to convert between one substance to another substance. And the key here, since there's two different substances, is a term called mole ratio. Anytime you have two substances, you have to use a mole ratio. Now, the mole ratio comes from the balanced equation. And it's the coefficients from that balanced equation. Okay? So, you're going to have to write out a balanced equation in every single problem. You can't do the problem unless you have a balanced equation. So, in this case, it tells us that oxygen is reacting with hydrogen to produce water. We're going to use our balanced equation. We're going to put a 2 here and a 2 here. So these coefficients is what we get our mole ratio from. So if we wanted to have the relationship from oxygen to hydrogen, it would be 1 mole oxygen one to 2 moles hydrogen. Or in this problem, we're looking at oxygen to water, so we'd say one mole oxygen to two moles of H2O. The only other mole ratio that we could use would be two moles H2 to two moles of water. So now we can do a problem. We can take what's written there and we can set it up. I'm going to give you the steps to solve a problem. Okay? So, step one, you're going to write a balanced equation. Step two, you're going to determine your given and the want, what you're trying to find. Step three, you're going to determine your mole ratio. This mole ratio is what makes it a stoichiometry problem, okay, because you're going from one substance to another substance. Step four is you're going to make sure you have all your conversions. I'm just going to put conversions here. And that goes back to these conversion factors. Step five is you're going to just solve the problem. Starting with your given. Okay? So, we have our balanced equation already over here. We're going to determine our given and our want. What I like to do is write it right above the balanced equation. So in this case, it says, how many moles of water? So I'm going to put a question mark, and I'm going to put moles above the water. Given to me in the problem, 2.0 moles of oxygen. So I'm going to put 2.0 moles. So that's my given and my want. We know 2.0 moles of oxygen. What we're trying to find is moles of water. Determine my mole ratio. In this case, remember mole ratio, the coefficients. So 
we have oxygen and we have water. So we're going to say one mole of O2 to two moles of H2O. You're only going to look at two, so you don't need this. And then our conversions. Well, what are we going to need? We're going from moles to moles. So there's really no conversion besides the mole ratio. And then we're going to solve it. So start with your given. 2.0 moles of O2. Since we're at moles, the only way to get from one substance to another substance is our mole ratio. The mole of oxygen is here, so we're going to break down our mole of oxygen. The mole ratio is a one mole, two moles of H2O. That's what we're trying to find. So that's the entire problem is two times two divided by one which is going to give us 4.0 moles of H2O. These will cancel, and we're left with what we were trying to find, the moles of water. That's how you do a stoichiometry problem, and then I'll give you some examples.